I'm so happy to share it with you because I am so passionate about it and I love it so much. And I want everyone to do this business because I just think it's so incredible. Hey, my name is Nicole. I own a photo booth company in Florida called Own Your Moment Booth. And I'm coming to you today with something I've been working on for quite some time. And you've probably seen it around here already. So if you're new here, welcome. This isn't going to seem new to you because you were already experiencing it, but I'm launching um, Own Your Moment company. And this really originated from a deep passion to help people succeed. I started my photo booth business in 2022 after encountering life-changing circumstances. And I knew I loved, um, I really enjoyed being in the event industry. I've done events um, before, ranging from weddings to golf tournaments to nonprofit. I've worked in like the corporate and nonprofit world for a really long time and in you know various forms of customer service and sales and marketing. And so at the end of 2021 and the beginning of 2022, uh, at that time I was a stay-at-home mom and a homeschool mom. I was homeschooling my son. And then kind of like everything, everything changed and I had to really pivot and figure out what I was passionate about. And we've all heard the gurus and the entrepreneurs and the life coaches say like, find what you're passionate about, find what you love to do and do that thing and make money from it, right? And for the longest time, I really couldn't have an answer to that because, I mean, I was a stay-at-home mom. I loved being a stay-at-home mom. I loved teaching my son. I loved watching him learn. I loved watching him grow and being with him every day. And um, that's, I guess I would say at that point, that's what I was passionate about. But when I could no longer do that, when that was no longer my circumstance, I needed to find something that I could love to do that incorporated things that I love to do while also providing the very thing that I wanted most, which was um, the ability to be with my son as much as possible. I will tell you this, I never, you can ask any of my friends and family members, um, I never considered myself creative. Uh, it's because I compared myself to my family members who are incredibly creative. They have a brilliant brains and it was definitely a limiting belief that I had on myself because I, I never tried it because I already felt like I failed because I was comparing myself to my family members or close friends um, and their expertise and I was like, oh, I'm never gonna be that, so why try, right? Like how many times have we told ourselves that? When pursuing like what creative thing I wanted to do, whether it was like um, photography because that allowed for flexibility, right? And videography and that also allowed for flexibility. Those two professions were so scary because they required so much a equipment and money like it's very expensive to get a quality camera um lenses all of those things like the startup cost is tremendous um and to do it well like i needed to do because i needed to provide for my family um the alternative was videography also again incredibly expensive to do it well to do it right I was assisting at a wedding and I came across a photo booth there and a light bulb really went off. I was like, this is interesting. Like this doesn't look too difficult. The equipment doesn't look like too expensive. Like maybe let me just look into this. And I did and it was just honestly like, as soon as I saw that it was kind of like, it literally was like an avalanche. I was like, oh my gosh, I have to do this because it was gonna provide me that that time and, and independence really that I was looking for and needed, uh, it was really low startup costs. Um, it was very much more feasible than a camera would be. And I was also really confident that with the skills that I kind of had developed through my life so far, working in corporate world, working in nonprofit, um, et cetera, um, I was like, okay, I feel, I feel like I have like the basic framework of what it would take to like start a successful business. And so I jumped for it. I knew nothing about the photo booth industry. I was like a couple of Google searches, right? And um, 
reading as much as I could and going on YouTube and, and finding that there was not a lot of content out there on YouTube um, talking about photo booth industry. And there was not a lot of representation of women in the photo booth industry sharing their experience. And so a lot of the questions initially when I started up were, uh, could I do this on my own? Because I'm all who I'm, I'm all that I have. It's just me. Um, I need to be able to do this on my own. And there really wasn't a lot of resources out there to say, yes, you can, or no, you really can't. It was just like, well, I mean, I got to just try. Uh, the, the least I could do is try. And if I fail, whatever, we'll figure it out, you know, sell the equipment, like start again, try something new. Um, but I knew I needed to at least try. And the reason why I chose the salsa booth was because of how easy it was to assemble, like from all of the videos that they provided on their website, it looked super easy to assemble. I was like, oh, I can do that. Like it came in a carry case. I was like, fantastic, I can do that. <laughs> um, the like essentials packet came with some backdrops, like sweet, like I don't need to worry about anything. And then it was all kind of like um, figuring out piece by piece by piece how to do this and how to do this successfully. And I knew um, that I wanted to have a really strong social media presence because um, I really didn't find a lot out there. Um, there were obviously everyone, like a lot of people had social media, but found that people weren't really taking advantage of social media as like a really a free marketing tool and a re an incredible resource to um, share some of the more important side of the business, which is individuals, you. From my just experience in in business and in kind of playing around with social media and in experimenting with social media, just as a mom, um, I knew how valuable sharing the person behind the business was. If you look at um, any brand, any um, platform, any um, business, you're going to find some sort of person associated with the brand. Um, the fact of the matter is people buy from people. And as a consumer myself, I want to know who I'm working with. Even in the framework of um, weddings, if you look at the photographer's role in a wedding, it's super intimate. You really have to get to know the bride and groom. Um, you have like several interactions with them. Most of the time you're involved in their engagement. Um, you're doing their engagement photo shoots. There's a lot of like getting to know the client, getting to know the ins and outs of their personality, what they're really looking for. Like it's very, very involved process. And um, while photo booths aren't that involved with that process, um, you're still really like capturing moments on their wedding day, one of the most important days of their life, something that they spend tens of thousands of dollars and hours and preparing for. Um, it's incredibly valuable. Uh, you're capturing moments of their loved ones that maybe would have been missed by the photographer because their goal is to capture the bride and groom and the bridesmaids and the groomsmen, some of their closest friends and family. Um, and you may miss getting photos of your uncle and cousins and all of that stuff maybe who've attended or your high school best friend, you know what I mean? Like there's the photo booth provides entertainment and incredibly valuable memories of the day. If you think about where you would hire a photo booth, it's A for entertainment, but B, it's always those lasting memories that you're providing that people are taking away with them. And there's incredible value with that, even in corporate worlds. Like a photo lasts much longer than the experience. And so to be able to provide that to people where you're, you're not only providing an experience, but a memory is just like, it's the coolest thing ever. I, as you can see clearly, like as I started to grow in this business and kind of understand it better, I just really fell in love with it. I love the concept. I love, I'm, I value memories so much. I have albums of photos myself and thousands of photos and videos on my phone. 
And as, as I know, like many of you are the same way. And so being able to provide memories that I cherish myself and like provide that service to others is just like the coolest thing ever. And so I'm like high, like cheerleader for like, this is the best business to be in because it's so incredible. The startup cost is so incredibly low and you're able to customize it and build your business how you want to in like so many ways. You can create videos, you can create fun boomerangs, you can create slow motion. Like there's just so much you can do within this industry that it just is like, it's so exciting. It's so exciting to be part of this. I sincerely love what I get to do. I love even like the community that's come out of it. Like from other photo boothers who I've asked questions and learned from and and then also people who are just kind of starting in the industry who are asking me questions and I'm like I'm so happy to share it with you because I am so passionate about it and I love it so much and I want everyone to do this business because I just think it's so incredible and there's so many ways that you can differentiate yourself and not feel like you're competing with other people I think as an industry, like we're so much better when we get to learn and grow from one another. With all of that said, I am so excited to be starting Own Your Moment Company. And my goal and passion with that is to provide education to new um, and interested photo booth owners um, to empower you to take that what you're learning and apply it to your business and an encouraging community where um, we have a Facebook group, we have this page, we have um, the Instagram account, but mostly like I'm really focusing on um, the Facebook group for just community because there's so much that I don't know that maybe someone else would know. Um, that I'm excited to have that way and to provide dialogue and learning. And I really wanna provide a safe, a safe space where no question is a stupid question. I've been a part of so many groups where I'm terrified to ask a question because I'm afraid I've seen the attacks that people have gotten. Um, and I'm afraid of the response that I would get because I feel like my question is a simple question and I'm not finding the resources out there and I wanna ask somebody for help and then when I ask for help, you get treated like you're dumb or that you should know this information and that sucks and I hate that and I don't want that for you. And so I really wanted to provide a way for new um, photo booth owners, people who are curious about the industry, um, people who have been in the industry who just want a safe place to ask questions and find the answers. Um, and if you can't find the answers, like be a part of a community of people who are like, yo, I'll help you find that. Or, hey, try that. Have you tried this? Have you tried this? Um, because I know I'm limited in my understanding too. You know, I've been, I have one photo booth. <laughs> I've been doing this for almost one year now. Um, I know I don't know all the answers. And so I want to be able to provide a place where we can all kind of collaborate, get together and find those answers together. Um, another thing that I'm really excited about doing is having um, more interviews this year with people who've been established in the industry, who've maybe expanded their photo booth um, business to include other services. I'm excited, like I would love to interview like planners and event coordinators and people who are in the industry who have a little bit more insight on what it's like to be in the industry. I'm so passionate about providing resources to you guys that will be valuable and will help you grow. I'm so excited about Own Your Moment Co. I'm also gonna be providing services for established photo boothers, up and coming photo boothers. I'll be able to provide social media services. Um, I'll be able to provide custom template designs. Um, I really enjoy that creative process. Discovering that I actually am creative and I really enjoy the design process. I really enjoy customizing templates and, and start screens for my clients that are super unique and different and so I want to provide that service to you. So if you really don't know how to use Canva or don't want to pay for Canva or 
um, don't know how to kind of custom design your templates, I have a service that I can provide where I can do it for you and um, and uh, take that load off your plate and you can just build the price into your packages and not see any you know negative impact on the financial side for your business. And so I'm excited that you're here watching this and I can't wait to see what's going to come um, with Own Your Moment Co. A little sneak peek, we'll be having an interview with an incredible photo booth company also based out of Florida. I cannot wait for this interview, so please stay tuned for our behind the booth interviews coming up. Uh, any questions, you can type them down below. You can find me at um, Own Your Moment Co. on Instagram. You can gain access to our exclusive Facebook group in the description below. And you can see all of our services at www.ownyourmoment.co. Thanks for being here and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.